Good morning, Felicia Starks, Felicia Starks Fitness. I help women, professional women, mothers, daughters, sisters, aunts, become better wives, mothers, daughters, sisters, um, and aunts, and become better support systems to people that um, rely on them. I also help them by uh, showing them how to lose unwanted fat, how to build muscle, and how to um, live life without regret. Today, there's one thing that you need to stop doing immediately if you want to look good look better naked so many times and i'm doing this video in my bathroom because there's one thing that you're focused on that you need to stop being focused on this is what you're focused on this is what you've been focused on you've been focused on the scale you've been focused on the scale You've been focused on that number on the scale. And what you need to stop doing immediately is focusing on that weight that is going to fluctuate every day. If you want to look better naked, you cannot focus on this. That That's not going to change. That's not going to help you change and look better naked. What's going to help you look better naked is by focusing on what you do consistently. That's are you eating enough consistently? Are you drinking enough water? Are you doing your workouts? Are you focusing more on weights than you are on cardio? Um, are you taking your measurements on a weekly basis? Are you taking progress pictures on a weekly basis? That's what you need to focus on. When you focus on the scale, you are robbing yourself of seeing your true progress because to you, you think that, oh, well, the scale went up, and because the scale went up, I am not making progress, so I should stop. That is not, so you need to stop immediately letting the scale dictate how you measure your, how you feel about your progress, because progress is you being consistent with getting up earlier and being consistent with making sure you drink your water and being consistent with um, making sure you get enough sleep. Those are things that really contribute to you looking better naked because when you're able to rest, rest is so underrated. That's where your results happen is when you are able to rest. Whether it doesn't matter what time if you work overnight or if you have normal day hours rest is important so the weight we the scale is going to fluctuate we know for women it will fluctuate based on our cycle it will fluctuate based on if you had a heavy workout if you um and so when you have a heavier workout there's going to be more muscle there's going to be more water held in your muscles and when there's more water held in your muscles when you get on the scale it's going to go up if you are lifting weights the scale is most likely going to go up initially it will go down but don't get discouraged about it and it, going up does not mean that muscle weighs more than fat again it does not mean that muscle weighs more than fat. 
It only means that you're holding more water because there's more water in your muscle. Um, another thing that can, that can uh, make your weight fluctuate is um, if you, depending on when you are weighing yourself, if you're weighing yourself at different times, if you got less sleep, if you didn't drink enough water, if you had more salt, if you had higher carbs, there's a lot of different things that, a lot of different variables to your weight. And one thing that you need to stop doing is focusing on your weight. Focus more on your body fat. Like find out what your body fat percentages are. There's a most local nutrition places have where you can get your body fat tested. They'll do an in-body composition where they tell you what your muscle percent is, your body fat percent. It'll tell you even water. That way you know you're progressing. Because guess what? I found out last month that I lost muscle. And I'm mad. I'm mad because it's my own fault. I was doing too much cardio. And I tell y'all all the time about doing cardio. And the only way that I would have known, that, like I wouldn't have known that I lost muscle, even though I lost fat, I lost muscle too. The goal, if you want to look better naked, is to find out like you want your body fat percent to go down and you want to maintain muscle. When you do too much cardio, that's how you lose muscle. We don't have time to lose muscle. Muscle is going to help burn fat. So the thing to stop doing immediately is focusing on what the scale says. If you want to look better naked. Now, if you only want to, if you want to lose five pounds, you can poop that out. That doesn't take a lot of, that doesn't take a lot of effort. You can get you some kind of detox tea and do that. That's not going to change your body composition. You're not, even if you, even if you lose five pounds, it's not going to change the way you look. So stop focusing on and getting excited about, ooh, this person lost 20 pounds. Well, if they weighed more than you and they had a lot more, um, if you weigh, if they weigh 200 pounds and you weigh, let's say 175, they have 20 pounds that they can stand to lose. You don't. So your comparison and you getting in your feelings about so-and-so lost 20 pounds and so-and-so lost 10 pounds, so what? You can lose two or three pounds in your sleep, if we're being honest. If you want to look better naked, focus on getting your water, eating your meals, um, doing your workouts, getting rest, not stressing, taking your measurements, taking your pictures, and doing um, trying on clothes that are too small. Because when you do that and focus less on the scale, you will see that you make progress. You'll get stronger. The weight loss will come regardless. The fat loss is what changes how you look. That is what helps you look better naked. That's what you should focus on. Have an amazing day. Talk to you later. Share this before you before you end this, um, before I end this broadcast, if you're watching this on the replay, thanks for watching and thanks for sharing. Share a hundred smiles today.